how to add a water using Qt. The, well, let's start from the uh, tutorial data again. This, um, this is good enough. Um, we can, of course, go calculate other modeling tools, find waters. That's um, a fully automated method. That's not what I want to demonstrate here. Um, so let's imagine that we're going through reviewing our structure. So I do Control G to go to uh, my residue. I'll just put that on the screen. Um, and I type 1 because I want to start at residue 1. And if I press space, as you may know, I can step through the structure. Um, as I'm doing so, you'll notice I'm reorienting the view so that I can see the context of the uh, side chain for this particular residue. Uh, there's another method. Uh, instead of just stepping, we can do uh, reorienting mode. So calculate scripting Python set Rio, that's his, as in Speedwagon, not De Janeiro. Let it complete and uh, give it the argument one, which turns it on. So that turns on reorienting next residue mode. What I like to do is to set up my current residue so that obviously the CF is at the center of the screen, the side chain is pointing up and actually back into the page a bit. The peptide nitrogens on the right and the peptide carbons on the left. So that when I press space now, it rotates or reorients. And that means I can quickly uh, look at the context of the side chain without wiggling the mouse, because Coot is doing what I want for me. We're going down a helix now. Okay, and you can tell the helix has changed because the uh, well, the helix has ended because the um, orientation matrix has changed. Right, so let's go back to this to you, I don't know, 12 ish. Um, and we want to look for waters, which is the point of the exercise here. Um, we want to, uh, well, we see there's a big green blob over here, it's corresponding to a blue blob as well. Uh, it is interacting with this carbonyl oxygen, well, presumably. And uh, the side chain here, uh, uh, the guanidinium group of the uh, arginine and this glutamic acid, all um, good candidates for hydrogen bonding. Now, uh, we might expect that there's a water there. So how do we build a model in to that blob? Uh, this is the way it works in Qt is that you bring the blob to the center of the screen and I'm going to point at the blob and press G on uh, the keyboard. G for golf. And that brings it to the center of the screen. Ah, so uh, this is presuming that you've set up your coot um, like uh, we have done in how to set up your coot in the previous videos from a week or two ago. Right, um, briefly then. Uh, uh, settings, install template key bindings. That's what we did. Okay, so now the blob is at the center of the screen because I did a uh, go to blob. Um, and now you can see that it's more or less in the center of the blob. If I now press uh, this function here, it asks me to which model I wish to add my water. It's clicked on water by default, I say this one. And it's added in here. Now let's imagine that that's all very good. And we want to add in this one here. So I press, I point at my blob, merely pointing at it, and then press G on the keyboard to bring it to the center of the screen. Does it look good for hydrogen bonding? Yes, it does. If I want to add a water, so this is the keyboard accelerator, hop key, is that what you call them? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, press W, W for water on the keyboard. And that adds it into the model. And if I press U, I go back to where I previously was, and okay, and it does uh, one step. So if I press U again, it swaps between those two waters. Uh, so if I want to recenter my protein, if I, I'll do space, that brings me back to the protein. And here we are, or back to where we were, where the, we had that water up there. So I can step on, have another look at this next one here, or this one down here. That might be a water. Um, so uh, this time I'm going to show you uh, that Coot does one more step for you. If you do Shift W, Shift W, 
um, while I'm pointing at the blob, it does the bring the blob to the center of the screen, the addition and the refinement all in one step. So um, if I just point at the blob, do shift W, it brings it to the center of the screen. You notice there that it flashed while it did the refinement. Press U, I'm back on the protein again, stepping through like we were. This is our helix again. There's another one up there. I'm pointing at it, pressing shift W, adds it, press U to go back to the protein, stepping through the protein again. I think that will do.